morning um yeah going for a seahorse uh thursday kind of theme so uh as always nicholas the stylist i'm just the not quite <laughs> not, not particularly well-made mannequin um let's begin <laughs> first question is from binsk um hi dr ben and nicola i hope monday finds you well yeah you too man <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, and that, that also shows you um, how how crazy this week's been and how long it's been since I uh, actually got a uh, Dr. Ben video made. But we're fixing that today. Questions all seem to come in at the weekend, which is fine. Uh, I should probably space them out a little bit more. <laughs> but I tend to just record whatever comes in. Yeah, just in a bunch. Anyway, that's enough about me. On to the actual question. Um, so the guy in this video is interesting. All right, and it links to a video by someone that I've heard of called ZDog MD, um, who I've had recommended to me by a couple of people, and I've seen some stuff that was kind of entertaining, and also there were times where he seemed, uh, yeah, I don't know, a little bit more acerbic maybe than he needed to be. Yeah, a bit more abrasive. Um, let's see. So uh, he was anti-mask. I did not know that, and ugh, that's a little disappointing, but okay, yeah. But the evidence changed his mind. Good. And so now he's very pro-mask. All right. Good. I, yeah, sure. We'll take it. Um, yay. I agree. <laughs> uh, he has a video out just about every day. And uh, he's way more long-winded and not nearly the gentleman our dear Dr. Ben. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> But um, uh, just to this one uh, is linked below is that because of a small viral um, uh, load, exposure tends to lead to a milder case. Yes. This is um, so, um, yeah, is, is this like an explanation for why people are getting weaker cases? Um, and then he's going to go into herd immunity at the end, which is uh, kind of a bugaboo for mine. <laughs> but, yeah fine all right we can talk about it yeah i don't know like they're two fine words when they're separate but when you put them together oh yeah just you know the i don't know but only bad things seem to happen this is um yeah let's go into it <laughs> um so i i can't remember if i did it on a dr ben video or in one of the news things somewhere um, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, uh, uh, this is something that I'd speculated, and I bet there are other people out there with a, a similar speculation. So what we know from animal experiments is that you can give like a little tiny bit of virus and the animal won't get sick. You won't even know that it's sick and it may not even get infected, it may not be enough. You can give a little more and the animal will be sick with a mild sickness, give more than that, it'll get a severe sickness, give more than that, it'll probably die if you give enough. I mean, you can toxic shock anything, yeah, to death, yeah. But that's not, you know, there's no merit badge for that. That's just terrible. Um, and not a useful animal model because there's nothing, yeah, you can really prevent there in any meaningful way. It's just, yeah, not great science. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the question is, is this happening in uh, people? Does the fact that at least some people are wearing masks mean that on average the dose is less? This is possible if you are getting spread either to or from somebody who's wearing a mask. But unscientifically, I would speculate that most of the spread is to and from people who are not wearing masks, which would mean that you would be getting exactly the same dose, um, which would mean that's not a good uh, explanation. A lot of the um, stats about a uh, very low death rate and everything's gonna be everything's gonna be fine um, come from a few weeks ago before the death rate started to spike again and it's just like I was saying at the time uh, the death rate follows a couple of weeks after a rise in infections uh, something like two three weeks later you get uh, unfortunately yeah the consequences of the infection start to come through and every time, every time this has happened, um, I've had to try and fend off some kind of news story or piping hot take that, oh, the virus is mellowed and everything's going to be okay. Basically, anytime somebody mentions either herd immunity, which is the everything's going to be okay and you don't have to do anything of uh, yeah, <laughs> pandemic <laughs> virology, um, or when they mention that the virus is weakening, um, 
these are both things that then I think come right before people start to do really dumb stuff that then leads to the virus rising back up again and deaths rising back up again two, three weeks after. And I really, yeah, I'm, I just, I don't like that. The idea of herd immunity is that we don't need to do anything. And if we just, if things get bad enough, then eventually the virus will self-limit. It's probably true, but there are so many dead people on the way between here and there and so many people with permanent damage that they're never going to recover from that that's just a terrible, terrible idea. It's the, you know, giving up and whatever, looking the other way um, version of a pandemic response. And that's, uh, yeah, that is not good for the country because the U.S., of course, is uh, still the uh, number one hotspot of uh, coronavirus in the entire world. And whereas everybody else, I mean, it's slowing down in Brazil. Brazil is probably going to top out at lower numbers than the U.S. And yeah, Russia and I don't know, Peru are doing a bit better. Yeah, I think they're turning it around. Um, India, I'm still not sure uh, um, exactly how much is being tested and whether or not they're going to be effective in stopping it. But yeah, they're the only real contender left out there for world's worst um, response to COVID. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're number one. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be number one. Yeah, all right. Um, that's a good question and thanks for bringing ZDog MD up and whatever you can watch him if you want or not I think um, I think Binsk is absolutely accurate uh, on what is being said about ZDog MD so there you go some good some bad thanks very much this has been Ask Dr. Ben